What's going on everybody? Uh, Coors Bandit here, Classic Pontiac Rescue. Uh, had a customer drop this little 78 uh, Z28 off uh, earlier today. Uh, it's one of his daily drivers. He just kind of has some fun with it, but uh, he's got some minor issues he's wanting us to address on it. And one of the first things that we did was, uh, it's a very common problem on these uh, second gen F cars. Uh, people kind of get, uh, they, they hastily put them back together and they kind of really don't want to take that extra little bit of time to get the panels to line up and uh, you end up with severely misaligned fenders and hoods. The hood doesn't want to open, stuff like that. Uh, the passenger side fender on the car, um, I don't know how the paint is still on the jam. Um, the fender was touching the door at the top and the hood stuck up about that far. Uh, it took a very minor adjustment, a little bit of, little bit of know-how. You know, we do these things all the time. That's what we're here for. Um, I did a quick little tech video to kind of show you at home what you can do to kind of alleviate the problem if you feel so inclined to do it yourself. If not, that's what we're here for. Classic Pontiac Rescue, Honey Pass, South Carolina, 864-369-2114. I hope you enjoy it. Have a good night. So what we're trying to accomplish here is a pretty common problem on Seb's model Firebird and Camaro. And I see a lot of cars come in the shop like this. And what you've got is a gap that's way too tight right here and it gets larger and that has the fender back too far which has the hood hinge where it bolts to it back too far and it causes this spring in the hood but the only problem is we're pretty sure you can barely see it there's a little bit of a buckle right here in the hood so that's kind of something we're not going to be able to address but we're going to go ahead and try to make this thing fit a little bit better so uh, watch and have some fun so the first order of business is you have to loosen this bolt, that bolt, this bolt, and probably what we're gonna have to do is after all this is loose and you can get the fender to pull slightly forward, we're gonna have to put a shim or two behind this one. And that is gonna push the whole fender out this way. So we installed a couple of shims. There's a eighth inch and a 16th inch shim uh, on the, uh, the mounting point here. This is on the firewall. On the passenger side, it's the one underneath the hinge right there. And you can see how this gap is kind of something you don't want to go by because these cars were not built very well at all and the gaps weren't that great, but take that out of the equation there. Um, the gap from here, all the way down is even now. So now when the door opens, it opens properly and it has plenty of clearance to get back in there. And to be honest with you, I don't really know how the paint has not gotten chipped off of this edge and this edge of the fender here. So now that we've accomplished this, the next step is we need to adjust the bolts on the hinge. There's one there and there's one there. So they need to be loosened up. It helps if you have an extra set of hands in this process. But those need to be loosened up slightly and the hood needs to be slid forward coming back this way towards the front of the car and that is going to close up the hood was sticking up to about here that's going to pull the hood this way and that's going to allow it to lay down in, in the pocket here like it's supposed to properly with some minor adjustments you can see how far down that hood drops there actually you can't even see the the buckle in the hood now. There's a little slight imperfection right there, but that's kind of not what we're worried about right now. But you've got a nice tight gap here. You've got a nice even gap all the way down through here. And the only collateral damage that we got is, you can see how this gap here is too large, and it gets larger as it goes back, and the hood's still sticking back too far here. So we're gonna loosen these hinges the top on the hood side and then pull the hood back this way just enough to make this line up here it's going to tighten this gap up all the way down but then tighten this up here i hope you enjoyed this i hope it was helpful that's what we're here for uh, we're here to help you out on your project whether it's us doing the work for you or uh, for advice to help you along in the way uh, stay tuned for more videos we're going to keep up doing stuff like this sometimes a little bit more involved sometimes easy stuff 
Uh, but like I said, we're here to help you out. Call us anytime. I'd be more than happy to help you out along with your project any way we can. Uh, Classic Pontiac Rescue, uh, 864-369-2114. If you like what you saw, uh, make sure you like the video, subscribe. That way you can stay in, uh, stay in tune with us. Got a little tune up. Keep Stay in tune up with us. And uh, that way you can keep, keep up with what we're doing here at the shop, our projects, what we got going on, and uh, stuff to help you out because that's what it's about, helping people out.